When we try to imagine space, we usually picture it as a kind of vast blackness with absolutely nothing in it. Yet, it completely fills the universe. But is empty space really empty? Space is a vacuum, but it's an imperfect vacuum. It is filled with gas, dust, a wind of charged particles and light from the stars, the radiation left over from the Big Bang, cosmic rays, gravity, electric and magnetic fields, and neutrinos from nuclear reactions. Most of these are things we cannot see with our own eyes, so instead we use instruments. Space is also filled with two things we can't directly detect, dark energy and dark matter. It turns out about 68% of the universe is dark energy, while dark matter makes up about 27%. The rest, everything on Earth, everything ever observed with all of our instruments, all normal matter, adds up to less than 5% of the universe. According to Henning Genz, a professor of theoretical physics at the University of Karlsruhe, Germany, even if we could remove all these things, there would still be three things we could never remove. Those are vacuum energy, the Higgs field, and space-time curvature. The vacuum energy, or zero-point energy, is underlying background energy that exists in space throughout the entire universe. It's a sea of particles and antiparticles flashing briefly into and out of existence. Next, the Higgs field is what gives many particles their mass. It exists everywhere, and due to the conservation of mass energy, mass energy cannot be created or destroyed in a closed system. When the Higgs field gives mass to a particle, it does so by taking energy out of the vacuum. Lastly, space-time curvature is a property of space itself. It influences the motion of massive bodies within it. Space-time is literally being curved by mass, and that's what general relativity is all about. Is space really empty? Well, that's a tough question. But when you think about it, nothingness doesn't even exist. There's no such thing as nothingness. Zero does not exist. Basically, everything is something. All things are made of atoms, and atoms are made of three basic particles protons, neutrons, and electrons. People often think that something like 99.9999999% of an atom is empty space. But that's not really the case. In reality, atoms do not contain empty space. Rather, most of the atom's volume is occupied by the wave functions of electrons, over which electrons are spread out. Atoms are literally filled with spread out electrons, making the shrinking of atoms impossible. Bottom line is that there is no such thing as purely empty space, and all of this can be explained by quantum mechanics, which in recent years has become the most important branch of physics. Please hit the like button, comment below and subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to support us on patreon.com slash cosmonology.